Hey, Joel McDonald with Just Get Out of Town, and I wanted to do a quick video on changing dates. I get a lot of questions about if you have to go on the dates that I send in the links, and uh, why you have to go 14 days, why can't you go 7 days, or uh, 3 days, or 21 days. And the answer to both of those is you absolutely can. Um, the dates I give are just suggestions because those are the dates that I found the best fare, both for the airline flight as well as the package price. And the package price almost always depends on getting a good airline price. So everything I do revolves around finding the cheapest airline price possible. With that said, if these dates don't work for you, uh, you can at a glance tell how easy it will be to find alternate dates. So I have this flexibility score here and the, the better the score, the more likely you can change the dates, whether it's just shortening the trip or lengthening the trip or changing them entirely. So let's look at that and how that might work for you. So this, this post, for example, um, and you can ignore the fact that it's out of LA that we have Six, ter six territories right now, and I'm just choosing LA as an example. It doesn't matter what city you're in, the same principle applies. So let's just say that this looks great. You wanna go, but 14 days is too long. You can't take that much time off of work. Okay, well, good news, because the flexibility score is three out of five. That means that you've got a pretty good flexibility. There will probably be some days that you can't travel, but uh, three out of five is a pretty good score. Um, so you should be able to adjust those dates, whether it's to shorten the trip or change them entirely. That's a very good thing. Uh, so what you wanna do is don't click here because you don't want to travel on those dates. You wanna go over and click, click here to find alternate dates. Now the other thing you wanna do is wait for this to fully load. Sometimes it can take 10 or 15 or even 20 seconds, but definitely wait for it to fully load uh, because um, they're, they're scouring their database for all of the best possible prices. And as you can see, we found our price, 554. Uh, that's good, but it's still working and some other alternate dates may pop up because right now there are only a couple choices. And then there we go ton of choices. Uh, as long as you can travel uh, Monday through Thursday or for a little more on Sunday, um, you've got a lot of options at the airfare that we found. So what you want to do is um, just pick a different date and make note of that time. So let's just say that, oh look, you could save a few bucks by leaving the 11th and returning the 25th. So you could just leave uh, or stay a day longer and the flight would actually be cheaper. Um, so you could do that. Since there are so many dates, this is an indicator that you could change this entirely. So let's just say that 14 days is too long. Okay, no problem. Let's go and adjust those dates. Um, and let's just shorten it by a week. Side note, it's always a good idea to stick with the same travel dates. So um, odds are you'll find a similar price, even though Kayak tells me that's not possible. I bet we can. Um, so you can just change this from the 11th to the 18th for your departure date. Leave your return at the 25th. Now you have a seven day vacation. It will almost certainly be a cheaper package price. So let's see what that looks like. So what we're hoping for is that mid 500 price range. Let's just wait for this to load up. Ignore that. And there we go. 18th to the 25th, we just turned the 14-day vacation into a seven-day vacation, which fits with our schedule, and we can book that. Now, the one difference is the links in my blog post assume the travel dates that I found. So you don't want to go back to my email. You want to work from here. So you want to stick with the 18th to the 25th. Now you want to go see what a package price would look like. So the package price from the 18th to the 25th. Let's assume two travelers. And just verify 18th to the 25th, which is a shorter trip than what I sent you. 
and we can see what these package prices look like. So there we have it, a seven day vacation uh, to the same location that I sent would cost $8.22 per person, a uh, total of $16.44. So they spell that out for you. It looks like you can book that through Priceline. All you have to do is click on that and there you go. If that does not look like a nice enough hotel, then you can filter and look for more. But more on that on another video uh, that you can find through the help files. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to chime in below. Oh, and I just noticed that it's actually not 822, it's 677 per traveler. So your seven day vacation is uh, 677. Uh, I don't remember what it was and what I sent, but it was probably more because that was 14 days and this is only seven. So uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to add a comment below. Thanks a lot.